Are we ready? Shall we start? Okay. A boy, 22 years of age, from a small town in Maharashtra called as Hingoli, from a decent college in Maharashtra called as Vishwakarma Institute of Technology. He packed a whooping compensation, a whooping package from one of the leading institutes of India called as VMware. VMware is in the same league as Google, Amazon and Microsoft. So how did this boy did it? Isn't it one of the inspirational stories that we want to hear? Isn't it one of those motivational stories that want to inspire us to do something like that? So let's hear it from the horse's mouth, Manthan. And to carry on this discussion forward, we have the leading IT professional, Nikita. Nikita has got a good global exposure working in the IT industry, having worked in geographies like London, Europe. So let's take it forward with Nikita and Manthan. So today we have Manthan with us who has agreed to share his wonderful and exciting journey with us. Thank you, Manthan, for joining us. So how do you feel after being selected for VMware and especially with such an exciting package? Just walk us through, you know, the emotions that you felt when you came to know that you have been, you know, offered this position. Uh, well, uh, thanks for having me uh, in the meeting. Uh, it was an amazing feeling uh, when I got to know that I got the package from VMware. I was very happy and proud. Uh, yeah, I, I knew beforehand because I was doing internship that, uh, and I really worked hard during my internship. So I knew I, I was going to get the package, uh, the, the offer, sorry. And uh, when I did uh, told my family about this, uh, they were happy and proud. Some of them did get emotional and uh, they started hugging me, crying a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, uh, we were all, all very happy and proud. That, that's really great. But surely there must have been a lot of hard work, you know, behind this success. So we want our viewers, you know, just to not see the bright side, but also understand, you know, what all struggles you had to, you know, go to overcome and, uh, you know, get uh, to this position where you are currently. So let's let's start with 10th and 12th. So um, let's let's talk. How, how were you as a student in 10th and 12th? Uh, would, how would you consider yourself? Uh, well, uh, not very bright actually. <laughs> well, I was uh, very good at uh, logical and analytical uh, thinking, you can say. So like solving puzzles, mathematical puzzles and all. I was very good at that. Uh, but when it comes to remembering things, uh, subjects like biology and chemistry and all, I was not very good at that. So yeah, so very, very, uh, can't say very, very poor, but uh, good at some things and bad at others. And did you always know that you wanted to get into engineering or um, you know you had you were in two minds when you were in 10th after 10th when you had to select your uh, subject uh well uh my uncle uh, rohit wanted me to be an ca um, but uh, ca you need to you know uh, learn a lot of things like what are the different laws uh, the you need to maintain the books for that you need to study it tax laws and all so i knew uh, i will not enjoy being in that field so and being uh, uh, i knew that uh, computers it's all logical right right so yeah being good at that i decided to uh, pursue engineering but uh, first i uh, like i decided to be a mechanical engineer because uh, i i did like bikes and all uh, super bikes so yeah, that was the goal. But later on during my 11th and 12th, uh, I did take uh, computer science as a vocational subject. And uh, I did enjoy solving logical puzzles uh, in that like uh, linked list trees, solving those uh, algorithms and all. That's why I decided to pursue computer engineering. 
Okay. And then after 12th, um, because mostly for, you know, engineering students, especially on in the computer science uh, stream, the main aim is to get through IIT, not only for computer science, for all engineering students. Yeah. <laughs> so how was it when, when you got to know that, you know, you did not get selected in IIT? Were you, were you really looking forward to it? I mean, you were, you were really aiming for IIT or, or how was it? How was the experience there? Yeah. Yeah. That's the way uh, you can say in India uh like you want to be in a very good college so yeah i did uh did my coaching uh in pune from bakliwal tutorials and uh the experience was good uh, but it was very rigorous and coming from 10 standard to 11 standard uh directly are bombarded with two may syllabus right and the difficult level also increases drastically uh so and 10th in the i i was not in the mindset to handle uh, so much pressure uh and also the guidance uh, is also required for that proper guidance so uh it didn't uh, go the way i expected but i did learn many things from uh, those two years of my life Moving over to your college life, um, did you always know that you want to get into a product-based company or, or you know, even a service-based company was fine? And what kind of preparation you did during those four years? Were there any specific subjects or courses or maybe uh, trainings that you took that helped you, you know, reach where you are today? So uh, I knew I wanted to be in a a uh, team where uh, i will get to learn a lot uh, but i didn't think companies as a way of uh, service based or product based uh, both uh, have their pros and cons uh, so talking about the preparation yes uh, i did solve many problems on hacker rank and hacker, hacker earth so they are like competitive uh, coding programming tools so where you can practice programming and uh, yeah did practice uh, enrolled myself into many workshops uh, like ml and all now, finally, relive uh, the day when, you know, you had your interviews. So can you walk us through the whole day, you know, starting from the first round until the, the end, if you would like to share okay. it with us? <laughs> yeah. So uh, VMware comes in our college for internship based placement. So first they uh, give you an internship for six months and then based on the performance, they convert you full time. So uh, for internship, there were one coding round, online coding round, and two technical rounds and one HR round. So in coding round, there were mostly problems from hacker earth and hacker rank, and there were some aptitude uh, problems as well. Uh, two technical rounds uh, mostly focused on uh, algorithms, data structures and algorithms, and OS concepts, also networking, DBMS concepts. Yeah. And uh, HR is mostly they ask you where you will be after five years. And uh, uh, basically they test you, they are your attitude and personality skills. Yes. Okay. So um, what would you advise, you know, the students who are in college currently aspiring to get into these kind of, uh, you know, companies, what kind of preparation they should do, uh, what probably trainings they can do or, or you know, on a whole, how, how should they prepare themselves for such interviews? Uh, first of all, you need to like computers a very far vast field, right? So you for uh, talking about uh, placements, uh, then you need to definitely practice a lot of problems on hacker and hacker rank, and uh, also uh, the five important subjects I will uh, tell in IT and computer is. Uh, DBMS OS and uh, for DBMS is data based management system OS is operating system then computer networks uh, uh, data structure and algorithms and uh, yeah, subjects are very much important uh, you should you need to be thorough in this subjects and also uh, yeah, that's all okay and uh, who has been your key support as you know mentor or guide who has guided you throughout this journey is there any person whom you owe this you know the success to uh yes uh there were many actually so uh, uh one of the most important i will say is uh my uncle uh, uh Rohit. so yeah he's also tied up with you guys you know uh, together with abhi Rohit is part of uh, our team. yeah he always uh, yeah <laughs> 
so uh, yeah uh, like he would uh, always guide me like what to do and how to find the answers rather than telling the answers so yeah so someone if you directly tell you the answers like like he is not really your mentor <laughs> <laughs> yeah so did learn a lot of things from him not only technical but as well as uh, how to be you know right attitude and personality towards things how to progress it step by step and no not to take a lot of pressure and be in burden and how to make us slow and steady progress that's that's really great and that's very inspiring i'm sure a lot of people would really you know get to learn a lot of things from this uh, this experience that you have shared uh thanks a lot manthan for you know agreeing to be with us thank you so much welcome back friends i hope you like the discussion between nikita and manthan but just listening to the discussion won't help you it might inspire you it might motivate you but what you need to do is to work on a few takeaways okay so what are the key takeaways from this from this discussion first is you need to have a very solid foundation even manthan talked about a few courses that he worked during his engineering and these are the ones that you also need to work upon the first one is algorithms and data structures by far the most important subject in your engineering why because all the big mnc's they will test you upon algorithms and data structures why is it important for them it is important because they want that whatever program whatever coding that you do it should work in a very optimized and performance efficient way okay and this is where you need to work upon complexity figuring out what the complexity of your program is what data structure are you using what algorithm you you are using is it really efficient or not okay so please focus on algorithms and data structures second is operating systems operating system is the core or the fundamental of any programming of or any programmer you know whatever program that you are going to write it is going to be dependent mainly on the operating system and how it is dealing with that program okay with the technology so you need to have a good understanding of the operating systems now the third subject is database management systems why database data has become an asset in today's world we talk about data all the time it is the most important asset and it has to be understood it it could be in different formats structured and structured and you have to deal it with deal it with in different ways so that is why database management system is really the important subject for you to focus upon the next is computer networks again a very important area why important cyber security application security has become the most important asset in today's world we are working you know day in day out on computer systems and we need to ensure that they are secure so the security and it has become all the more important when we are moving over to cloud you know so just focusing on computer networks is also very very important to you this does not undermine the importance of other subjects other subjects you should be focusing on but these are the four important subjects that you should be fully concentrated upon next thing is please keep yourself up to date with new and latest technologies okay we have too many applicants in job these days right now if in case i were to select any person we would see how technologic technologically inclined he or she is whether he or she knows about the new technologies or not it tells you how much knack do you have for the technology okay so please keep yourself updated to latest technologies like devops cloud data science so you can also judge the interest where you want to see yourself in another 5 years okay so please do focus on this area as well the other important thing is specialization developer specialization these days all the applicants have the knowledge on the basic technologies java dot net frames everybody knows that okay but what sets you apart what sets you apart will be the specialization that you are going to be having okay so make yourself an expert in one area you need to be known for one area one technology it could be cloud it could be data science it could be devops it could be machine learning whatever but please specialize yourself in one area then internships trainings and projects i cannot be more specific you know how much focus you need to put on this area 
Theory is one part. You can read, read and read. But it cannot take you any place. Okay. It is important. You need to read. But then hands-on practical is more important. So you can do hands-on practical in your own space, writing some small projects, writing some small programs. But the experience of a real world project is altogether different. Okay. So to have that real world experience on the projects, how it works in the actual industry, internships, trainings and projects are important. Second thing that internships are going to help you with, it is the establishing the right connect. Even in case of Manthan, you see, uh, he actually did internship first with BN Bear. And what it helped him? It helped him bag a good opportunity, a final job opportunity. Okay, so please focus on internships. And lastly, the most important is brand yourself. Okay, whatever you are learning, foundation that you created your, for yourself, the expertise that you have go, gained, the internships that you have done. After that, it becomes important to make yourself visible before the you know, job uh, market. So branding is really important for you. Why important? Because visibility is what you are seeking. There are so many job applicants. You need to set yourself apart. You need to create a brand for yourself. So go and participate in all these competitions. Hackathon is one. Even Manthan talked about all these uh, competitions that he was participating in. So please go and participate in all these competitions. It provides you a visibility. Have a good LinkedIn profile. You know, always go and look out for ways of connecting, networking. This is what is going to develop a brand for yourself. So somebody can say that this XYZ person, he or she is known for this technology. Okay. So make yourself a brand of your own. Okay. I hope this video helped you to understand the basics, the things that you need to work upon. It has been motivational and inspirational for you. And I will keep on bringing such inspirational videos for you, which can help you boost your career. If in case you do like this video, please like it, share it with your friends and colleagues, provide us some comments, some feedback, what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. And please do write to me so even I can get back to you and help you in whatever way, whatever way possible to boost your career. Thank you.